Come with me on a mother-daughter staycation in Yachtville, California. As a Bay Area native, I've spent a lot of time in Napa Valley. I have lots of favorite spots, so I was really excited to be invited to come visit Yachtville. Let me show you all the best spots so you can plan your best possible trip. Okay, so we have made it to Bistro Gentil and we just had an amazing lunch. I had a beef stew. Mom had a plat du jour, which was salmon wrapped in prosciutto with really yummy chive mashed potatoes. I had an endive and apple plat du jour special salad. She had a warm goat cheese salad with Eric Gobert. It was bomb. <laughs> What's up everyone? We're now at Handwritten Wine. This is our first official stop, but we did have lunch before this at Bistro Gianti, where we had this really delicious French bistro lunch, complete with all the fixings and sparkling. Now we're having another sparkling before we officially start our, did you say the signature tasting? Which was the tasting? I think it's the signature tasting, but we got some bubbles to start, and these are actually bubbles from France, so it is a champagne. First vlog of the year. We're back. We're back. Got a new camera, new trips, new things happening, and I'm excited to take you along. So everything is going to be linked in the description box, all the outfits. You can also visit my Instagram for more. We'll tag all the locations and everything you need to know about planning your best possible Yonville staycation. So how fun is this? They've got this little postcard station here where you can fill out a postcard from Handwritten Wines, and they will go ahead and send it home for you, or to whomever you wanna address it to. I think that's absolutely adorable. Handwritten Wines tasting room is absolutely gorgeous. It's perfectly walkable in Yauntville, and they really focus on the unique terroir and diversity found just within Napa Valley itself through all the AVAs. You'll taste some luxurious, premium, delicious cabs here, and V will take amazing care of you in the tasting room. Hi, Mom. <laughs> this is the first Sauvignon Blanc. It's called The Author. So we're tasting Pinot now. We've got a 2014 Santa Rita Hills and a 2019. So it's kind of fun to like taste the difference between the two. Okay, we're on cabs now. Little tip if you're coming to Napa Valley, come on a weekday because you're gonna experience less traffic, less crowds, and even today it was a little rainy, but it's the afternoon now and the sun is out. Our next stop was Cliff Lady Vineyards in Yachtville in the Stags Leap District. It's just down the road from Washington Street in Yachtville. And this is a must-see winery. If you love rock music, art, pop culture, you'll taste outstanding wines in the backstage tasting, but you'll also be in this like museum-like immersive experience in this room surrounded by signed artwork, rock memorabilia. Even the blocks where they grow the grapes for the wine are called rock blocks and they're named after iconic songs like Free Fallen, Stairway to Heaven, Bohemian Rhapsody, and more. And if you're into rock music, you should check out what they're doing around bottle rock season in Napa. Oh, yeah. yeah, that has a really nice spring. Oh, that's a spring yeah. 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 It's like yeah. hiding into like an apricot or something. Yeah. 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 Straight yeah. off the tree. Yeah. give you a little room tour we're in room 31 this is stunning okay so you walk in first of all we've got a little seating area a little balcony patio total RH vibes on the light fixtures I love it I'm gonna turn you around this way because okay well we've got all our luggage they brought our luggage up we had a welcome drink then we have a bottle in the room. Then we've got a little Nespresso situation over here. Because they are renovating the restaurant, we've got 
the hookup for our breakfast in bed so we can place our order tonight and get that covered. Little sitting area and the bathroom. Beautiful rainfall shower, humongous deep bathtub, hers and hers sinks. Bottega is one of those iconic Yachtville restaurants I've been coming to for over 10 years. The cocktails are outstanding and you might be craving something aside from wine. Well, after all the wine tasting you'll do, rest assured they have a great wine list as well. They have incredible Italian food and great cocktails. We had things like the Not Spa Water Cocktail, the Negroni 1919. We had the Pulpo, we had the Risotto, we had Brussels sprouts crab fettuccine that was a special and you gotta get the donuts for dessert good morning friends we are up bright and early it's actually only eight because the restaurant here is under renovation they do bring you breakfast in your room so we got model bakery pastries so we don't have to go wait in line down the street i've got a blueberry scone mom got a ham and cheese croissant greek yogurt with berries and granola coffee orange juice, all the essentials. Okay, so breakfast was amazing. Now I did my makeup, hanging out in my robe, taking some pictures around the room, and I think I'm gonna get dressed now. We're gonna go down, take some more content in like the courtyard area. Like, it's just so pretty here. And then we're gonna check out, get ready for our first tasting of the day. Our first tasting will be at Silver Trident today. I've never been there, but they have this wine and potato chip they call it the extravaganza <laughs> and then the afternoon we're gonna go to oxbow public market which i've been to many times there's always something new there and there's just something for everyone there there's shopping there's food there um there's a wine shop all kinds of stuff so very excited so let's get dressed and wrap up here so we stayed at and were kindly hosted at the north block hotel which is on the north side of yauntville on Washington Street, right next to RH. So it's perfectly walkable from all the major Yachtville sites. They have 20 guest rooms. They also have spa packages. It is really quiet and serene. It feels tucked away. It's still really centrally located. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Perfect for a girls getaway, romantic getaway, or just adults only getaway. And every time I visit Yachtville, I have to hit Bouchon Bakery and Mini Model at least once grabbing pastries and macarons from Bouchon and the iconic English muffins from Model. Okay, you guys, next stop is at Silver Trident Winery and we're doing this potato chip extravaganza. You heard that right, potato chips and wine and it's like some very interesting chips, tons of flavor and we're starting with the rosé. I'm gonna show you the tasting room, it's a Ralph Lauren home showroom. It's beautiful, it's stunning. Let me show you some of the decor. Okay, so this is so much fun because everybody likes chips, right? And it's a really approachable way to kind of understand the fundamentals of pairing. We're gonna have some more robust, bolder wines later that have, you know, bolder flavored chips to go with them. My favorite so far is the sour cream and chive chip with the Sauvignon Blanc, and it's not what you'd expect from Sauvignon Blanc from like New Zealand and South Africa. Like it's really, really good. So this is, this is amazing. Alright, so the last stop of our Yauntville staycation today is at the Oxbow Public Market in Napa. I've been here dozens of times before. I love all of the vendors in here. You can shop, you can eat, you can drink, you can get souvenirs, you can get stuff for kids. Oysters, tacos, cupcakes, bagels, like pretty much everything here. We've got a little money to spend. They set us up with some coupons to, to help ourselves to any of the vendors. Uh, we'll show you what we pick. I want to revisit some old favorites, but I also want to try some new to me spots. And it's kind of like a one-stop shop. I think it's a great spot to either start or end your day at in Napa Valley because there's something for everyone. Si Casa has been at Oxbow a long time now, but they recently moved into this larger space and check out this dining room. It's awesome. 
We're sitting down for some margaritas and tacos. Cheers! They offer happy hour specials and they also have a walk-up taqueria so you can get breakfast tacos if you come here in the morning time. Tacos are always a good idea. Tacos and margaritas are always a good idea. <laughs> the tacos here are like three times the street tacos, so I'm having to attack with a fork and knife first, but I'm, I'm, I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in. <laughs> Oyster platter, we've got two of each of these beautiful Pacific oysters. I love the Hog Island Oyster Company. You can sit right at the bar and you can be right in the center of all the action. It's very lively and it's got that open kitchen so you can see all your seafood being shucked, chowder being poured. I always ask the server for recommendations on what's good, what's in season, and what are their favorites. This is the oyster pot pie. It's really hot. I can feel the heat from here. <laughs> is that good? It's your temperature. I love a pot pie. Our last stop at Oxbow Public Market was of course Ritual Coffee Roasters and Kara's Cupcakes. Gotta get some sweets for the road. 